I don't think I'm mentally stable enough to actually do this. It doesn't look like that much, or am I going crazy? I don't know whether I hate it or I like it. This is my life. I am gonna have multiple breakdowns during this video, so be prepared. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is Chloe here and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Moving Chronicles part in this entire series. As you guys know from my last video or last couple videos, you should know that we have officially moved into our house. My room is pretty much done, but as you can tell by the title, today we are tackling my bookshelf and putting my books in and organizing them and everything like that. Because that is the only thing in my room that I have not done. Before we get into this, I just wanna say I am still recovering from a sickness. It's not COVID, it's just the flu. So excuse the fact that this is happening Happening. Why am I talking with my hands today? I have no idea. I'm not looking the best, not feeling the best, but I think this is gonna make me really happy because I like the way it, the bookshelves already have a setup, and I just think that when my books are on it, it's gonna be really exciting. So I don't know how this video is gonna turn out, and I don't know if it's gonna even be good, but I hope it is because this is so exciting for me. I love books, I love reading. It's just a whole like, escape for me. I know a lot of people don't enjoy my like book-related videos, but all of you guys enjoy my organization so it's still organizing or no that's not a word organizing I said it again it's still me organizing my books but if you don't like books it's still organizing so hopefully I can kind of get everyone watching this video even if you don't like aspects of the video anyway I'm gonna be quiet and we're gonna start decorating my bookshelf so I'll show you an overview I have decorated the bookshelves I guess but I haven't done anything book related hope you guys are interested in this video and if you are you can just keep on watching because I feel like this is gonna be a very stressful time period but in the end it's gonna be really exciting so if you want to know what happens just keep on watching guys one, two, three, let's switch this up. Hello. I don't know if you're able to see, but this is my bookshelf or bookshelves actually i have more shelves um if you've been here since obviously my last house a lot of you guys will be unless you're brand new hello welcome if you're brand new to this channel enjoy your stay you guys know that i had one of these bookshelves and then like cube units on my tv unit i guess but that's all changed <laughs> so i have three shelves now and then this middle shelf has been taken out to fit my tv in so this is so exciting and i can't believe that this this is my room. I really can't. Anyway, at the point. So this is just an overview. I have all my pop vinyls on the top. You guys know I'm obsessed with my pop vinyls. So they're just chilling here. That's me. And then we have one bookshelf down here. And then we have one over there with a mirror in the front of it. I'm going to get everything off the shelves. Don't worry. These are books, but these were in boxes that were labeled my room. I haven't touched book boxes. I'll show you them anyway, but they were just like in a box that labeled my room instead of books which was my fault anyway and then in the middle we have my tv and we have my xbox games and then a couple dvds the rest is empty so the rest are going to be books now if we head over to mum and dad's room this here is all my books this is a mirror here so it looks like there's more when there's actually not that many <laughs> there is 11 boxes of books here i don't know how to cope with that they're full you guys saw we pack them there's 11 boxes to do and i'm actually so keen so i think what we should do is just bring them all into my room open them all get them all out put them in categories i guess or however i want to like put them on my shelf and then we can start also before i start this video i do want to say that i love my bookshelves i like how i set my bookshelves up again not everyone's going to like the vibe of my bookshelves but that's the point they're mine so a lot of the time i always always used to have my books upright and then one day i was just on like booktube on youtube i was just watching some book related videos and i saw all these people changing up their system and putting them sideways and like back to front and everything like that so what i've been doing is i've been putting them front on like up up down whatever <laughs> and then i'm also doing them side to side it just saves a lot more room for me because i do have a lot of books yeah we're gonna yeah Okay. Eleven boxes. That's great. Am I crazy? I have eleven boxes here, literally full to the brim of books. I think what I'm gonna do is just open all of these up and put them like with authors and like my classics will be with classics, you know what I mean? So I don't really have a rhyme or reason with my bookshelves. I don't have them in like categories, I guess. I just keep like, my classics together because they're all the same size and I also just keep the authors with the authors and then kind of just put them wherever. I don't really have a rhyme or reason like I just said. So I think actually before I unbox any of these is take every 
everything off my shelves already. They're just really loose things anyway and put them on my bed just for now. And then we can start opening these. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've just opened the window and you can probably hear all the birds. So I'm so, so sorry. But I've just emptied out the entire bookshelves. Obviously, except for this shelf because that's staying the way it is. So this is all the shelves empty. So this is like a before. And now we're going to open up all of these boxes. I don't really know what I'm doing. Because like my other collection you guys saw in me packing my room, it was nothing like this. So I have no idea what to expect. Oh, we got some Harry Potter. Oh, and my book stamp. Hell yeah. And also a little embroidery that I had to put in the studio. <laughs> my book stamp, which I have been looking for. This looks like classics as well as some Harry Potter shadow bones. All of that. So this is going to be so much fun. Are these still in order or do I have to order them? No, they're still in order. Hell yeah. This one bird does not like me. I just really hope none of these have been ruined during the move because I had one get ruined. It was in Chloe's room box, not a book box. It's currently sitting under our subwoofer in the theater room trying to kind of flatten out because it got really ruined and it was a new Sarah J Mass book, The House of Glass. I don't know, it's a really pretty book. It got, it's a sequel of another one that I have in my boxes. And it got ruined and I like, cried a little bit, but that's not the point. <laughs> so I'm just putting them on the floor behind me. It's literally nothing special. And I feel like that book is a little bit bent. Oh my God, I can see it. So we have a couple classics, not all of them. So I'll have to put them in their own pile. This bloody bird. So we have the Shadow and Bone series. So I'm gonna put that together as well. And then we have Game of Thrones. Wowza. And that is box one done how exciting here we are we've started current go back now one box down we're going to do box number two. Oh my god i hope you guys are enjoying this i think it's gonna be really fun for me to edit some people don't like this type of video which is fine but for me i love reorganization videos whatever it is and it being books is just an added bonus do these have a purpose or are these just random these are just random. I'm not looking forward to this. But I really want it done because I know for a fact that when it's done, that freaking wall is going to look so good and it's going to make me so happy. Because my bed's right there and I wake up and I see that and when I watch TV, it's going to be there. So it's just really exciting to me. I don't know. I find joy in the small things in life. Okay, these are all random. That is a set. Where's the other one? Hello. I got it. So I just tend to keep this same authors together because sometimes it's not in a set obviously sometimes i just like the author and I get all their books which i have done before i have all of the disney villain not disney villain like the disney horror or oh, twisted tale that's the right word i have all of them which is kind of exciting because i love disney i don't really like horror that much but i feel like i don't know i feel like it's gonna be cool to read like just a twisted tale so i have like frozen i've got ariel mulan ooh, cinderella it's just really fun but these again are just random not random, but like they don't have a pile to go to, so I'm putting them there. Oh, Percy! Hey! I used to like movie covers, like as a teenager, like a really, really young teenager, and now I don't. But like this one, for instance, is like not to do with the TV show, Sex Education, but obviously they're not going to promote Sex Education without a photo from Sex Education. So I don't like the fact that they put the cast from Sex Education in the front because I don't like books that have movie covers. As you can see, they're movie before you. I had this in high school. Having real people on covers to me is weird. Am I weird? Probably. And then we get Percy out. And then that box is now done too. I also have Songs of Achilles but the thing is I have a special edition somewhere in one of these boxes so I have to put them together because obviously I'm not going to separate them even though they're the same freaking book. But I'm going to front face the special edition. I know that for a fact because it is absolutely stunning. I love front facing books. I really do. I just think it's meant I'm sweating. I'm so sorry. I don't think I ever would have had a collection this massive but let alone presenting it like I would like front facing books and like making it all different because I was very particular with my books especially like in the libraries and stuff if it was like out of order I would fix it I was that kid in school okay but now I'm sitting here in my room with a bunch of books that is only two boxes worth of books by the way it's kind of exciting to open these to see what books are in there I don't know I think it's fun it's like Christmas oh I see bing bong <laughs> I have a couple pop vinyls that were on the shelf and I have more over there. So I'm just going to obviously chuck them on the bed if I do find them. Okay, here we go. We have Adam Severa, so he has to go together. Hello. Did you not hear me? No, I didn't. Oh, you did so cry right home. I didn't hear you. Hi.
I'm sweating, but hi. I've done eight boxes. Still three more left, but I'm gonna have a break and have some lunch, and then I'm gonna come back and just open them. So next time you're gonna see me, I will have all my books on the floor. But this is what it looks like. That's the state of me floor, dolls. It doesn't look like that much, or am I going crazy? Mum thinks I should wake up and see that it's a lot. But anyway, I have three more. One of them has most of my classics. I have some classics over there, but most of them have my classics in them. And then I have some more. I also have my, oh my God, what are I called? Comics. How did I blank on that? On my bed and my illustrated Harry Potter books. I don't know where to put them because at the old house they're on the top of my shelf. So I'll probably have to put them here because this shelf and that shelf aren't even. Usually I would want them even, but because my TV's here, you can't really tell they're uneven unless I was pointed out and I've just told you that. But I may or may not move it, I'm not sure yet. But I'm gonna go have a little bit of a break. So I just unboxed 11 boxes worth of books and they're all on my floor and um, <laughs> There's a lot. I got really tired all of a sudden. My mood shifted a little bit. So can this camera focus on me and my violence, please? Hello. Thank you. My mood's kind of shifted a bit. So apologies if I'm a little bit down on the dumps. This is the update on my floor. Is that the whole frame? I think that's the whole frame. I can't even tell anymore. So this is all my books. Kind of categorized into authors. These are just ordinary books but larger and those are ordinary books but the smaller version. Everything else is in authors. I never realize how much books I have of specific authors. It's very odd. I guess I want to start and I have no idea where to start. <laughs> so my plan is I think I have to put these. This is the illustrated versions of Harry Potter. I've put four of these. My friend Tori kindly gifted these to me and I'm forever grateful for that but I think I want to put them on the end shelf the first one because I'm going to stack them with the other Harry Potter books and on Honestly, probably my Umbrella Academy comics and then we'll see where that goes. I don't know. I think this video is going to be a bit chip choppy because I know for a fact I'm probably going to have to put books on the shelf and then I'm going to reorganize them and just make them perfect and then at the end when I get to decorate the shelves is when I'm going to be so happy like with pop vinyls and stuff. I am getting more leaves. I am getting more of these. If not that for now. So I think I'm going to focus on the other shelf first. I think that's the plan because that shelf is bigger up ways than that one. Oh my god they're so heavy. See this was my plan. And I was hope feeling, hope -ling? hope -ling. I don't think it's gonna fit though. Damn it, I was gonna put one on top. That's okay. That's alright. That's okay. I'm just reassuring myself. Okay, let me put them in order. Okay, no, that's very wrong. Like that? Fuck me, dude. That's scary. <laughs> Cause I can put my pot vinyl with you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <sighs> Doesn't look too bad. I also have a wand as well that I can put up. Anyway, let me get the actual Harry Potter. I don't even know how to get to it. Oh my god, give me a second. Got him. I have the whole set in hardback. So I'm going to put them like this. Because that's how I had them before. Is that hideous? Maybe this should be in the middle. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't know what I'm doing. If my pot of vinyls fall, it might be the end for me, guys. It might. Can you not make that sound, please? <laughs> oh! Oh my god, the leaf fell. I got so scared. Does that look weird? I don't know. This is the problem I have, is trying to figure out this shit. Oh lord, this is going to be the worst thing I have ever done in my life. I'm just prepping myself for a breakdown. That's all. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, the only thing is I have to put umbrella up here because it's so tall. Okay, give me a manito. Give me a mojito. That's what I need to do as well. Oh my god, that is so scary. That looks stupid. <laughs> I think this looks better on that side. Give me two seconds and then I'll come back with this finished shelf but this this is the struggle that this video is going to have I've been doing this since 10 30 ish what time is it it's almost 1 p.m. we'll see how this goes and then the pop vinyls will go there are we liking it or are we hating it what do we feel the first shelf I don't know if I hate it or like it I think it's good for now if I find another Harry Potter Oh, I thought I missed one then. <laughs> I was gonna shoot myself. This is the first shelf. Now I have no clue where to go. I think I have a plan. So this middle shelf doesn't have a backing because I just had the backing off to get the cords in back, obviously. So on these three shelves, I was thinking to do probably the classics as well as like biographies and like celebrity books, you know, all that stuff. I think that's what I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna get these classics. I feel extremely ill. Next thing we're gonna see is on the floor. And you're gonna see my reaction to literally everything and having a mental breakdown probably. These are the shelves here. Have I cleaned them? No. I got wipes. Just so glad these wipes smell nice. So what I think I'm gonna do is put the like celebrity ones on the bottom bottom. These are all my classics here. There's two piles. I think I'm gonna hopefully just conduct, conduct? Hopefully consist of one shelf at the bottom being the celebrity ones and then these two can be classics. Oh, Kali, it's oh, I think I'm just gonna go for it. 
You're joking. They don't even fit. They fit on that one. That makes literally no sense. Oh my god, this is so stressful. Alright, cool. That can go there. That can go there. I'm trying to think of which one I can face forward. Do I face forward little women? Because, you know, women. Oh my god, I just moved the whole shelf. Can you even see what I'm doing? Oh, is that better? I really hope this is nice. Now, I need to figure out which is small, small, and which is not. Because they can go up here, the small ones. Maybe. I don't know how this is going to work. Okay, I guess you guys are going to come down here. A Christmas carol. My battery is gonna die. I'm going to change my battery, finish this up, and then I'll have a stack of celebrity kind of books, and then I'll run through that really quickly, and then we can continue on, because we've only done two shelves, and it's been like four hours. This is it. I'm obviously gonna show you an overview of everything. This is the bottom shelf. I went ahead and just cleaned all the shelves anyway. I'm gonna vacuum my floor, so if you see dirt on my floor, ignore it. This whole pile is all like celebrity-ish, like some bios, and this one is just a photo book for Billy. I got this one when we were on holiday in a bookstore. This is the best of Schitt's Creek. But it stands out in no an actual way. This is going to be a boring shelf, I know for sure. But I'm also going to put my poetry down here. I don't have that much poetry. I got rid of most of my poetry, so I've only got like this. I'm just kind of just going to wing it. Honestly, it's probably going to be half a shelf, which is not fun because I don't know what else to fill it with. Oh, that's going to be fun. Anyway, look at us go. Ow, mm, that's not even. Excuse me. See what, see what I'm doing? Okay, that was rude. I think I'm doing it. Oh, that was the books, not me. Okay, I'm gonna put something there. I don't know what, but I can put something there. Okay, so we're now on the middle shelf. I'm doing this freehand, so excuse that. But this is the classic shelf. So this is how it turned out. So I face fronted Little Women. And I just stacked that. You didn't see it off camera because my battery died. And moving down, we have the celebrity section. I don't know what you want to call it. And a bit of poetry. So I have Schitt's Creek in the corner. Some smaller ones there. And then I face front a Billie Eilish. So I have a gap here. We have all of this and all of that and all of this back here to work with. So I guess let's get going because I don't know what I'm doing. What is that on my hand okay i know you're sick of me talking so i'll probably do some cut throughs after this however i think what i'm gonna do or what i'm gonna tackle is the biggest sets i have or the biggest um i would say artist <laughs> the biggest authors i have so that being sarah j mass and also cassandra claire are pretty much the biggest kind of collections i have then following up with leo bardugo and game of thrones probably then i also have a series of unfortunate events there's a lot so i think i'm gonna put them on this shelf here and this one will be focused on young adult because that's my life i don't know what we're doing but we're getting somewhere so i'm going to start on this shelf here which is where the harry potter shelf is that we've done already and then i'm going to work on the other shelf because the other shelf is going to be like my pride and joy i guess which is all my young adult i love young adult and romance books like as soon as i go into a bookstore ya is the section i go to straight away always i think i'm gonna do sarah j mass first and i'm probably gonna put that on the shelf that is already on the bookshelf because these ones are adjustable. <laughs> so with Sarah J, I have three collections. I have this one, which is A Court of Thorn and Roses, and then I have A Crescent City. Now, as I mentioned, this is the book that I mentioned that got ruined. It's currently under our subwoofer, the part two of this, so I had to leave a space for it. Then I have the Thorn and Glass series, which is all in hardcover, which is a lot. Which looks like this. And I'm honestly thinking of getting a Court of Thorn and Roses in hardcover because the size difference does my actual nut. Hello, everyone. Just wanted to come on here and say hello. It is future Chloe technically in this video but past Chloe when you're watching this. I just wanted to add in really quickly. Peer pressure on myself kind of took over and I bought the set in hardback and they're all the same size. So now I have them in hardback. I didn't really want them in hardback but I just wanted them all in the same size because the size difference was doing my nutter but the colors are pretty much the same as payback but they're in hardback. So just letting you guys know that fun fact. I don't know if these will be able to stand up or I have to they do stand up. Do I stand them up? Well, I kind of have to, don't I? Oh, I don't remember how I had them in the old house. I didn't take photos of my shelves just because I knew that I was going to change them up anyway, so there was no point. Okay, ow, shit. Why are they making noises like that? There's a joke, okay? Oh, it's going well, dolls. You should see it look. Do you like that? That was the first shelf I did. What'd you do? I just grabbed the other one. This is Crescent City and this is House of Sky and Breath. Now, this is what a normal book is meant to look like. And um, this is what mine looks like because I got ruined. It was worse, but I think I'm just going to leave it because when I read it, it might turn out to be a bit better anyway. But anyway, I don't really know how I'm going to put it on the shelf though. Mm, I don't know if I like that at all. Do I like that? I don't know if I like it. You can't even see it. Can you see this corner? I don't think you can see shit. Hang on. 
Hang on, I might have an idea. I might have an idea. Does that look like poo? Oh, it doesn't even fit. I have to stand them up. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to face forward this one. Sick. I'm going to leave this for now just because I need this book to be flat. And I'll work on who is next to Santa Claire, which I think will take up two shelves, which is great. Still have Lee Bardugo left and Game of Thrones. Holy shit. I just realized I have so much. Oh, my name. Is that my name? I know for a fact my lovely, lovely Heartstopper series and Alice Oseman novels are going to go on this shelf. So I'm just going to whack them on here. So I know for a fact they're going on there. I think I'm having a breakdown. Do I even have enough room for all of this is the question. We're fine. I'm not having a fun time here. Leave I do go. Will these stand up? That would be a no. I need to do Cassandra Clare first because there's just so many of it. I have so many of Cassandra Clare. It's not even funny anymore. Okay, thank you. Ta-da. Can you? No. <laughs> Am I doing this in the right order? Probably not. Are they going to stand? Hey, guess. You said no. You'd be correct. Whoa. Oh, that looks stupid. <laughs> this is silly. I don't like it. These are really pretty, so I'm gonna put these next. And they have really nice um, binders, so I'm gonna leave them because they've got like the ruins and everything. This one hits different though, this cover. Oh! Nope. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's book one. Fuck. Whoopsies. How are we looking from that direction, guys? I still have a shit ton more, which will be this shelf. There we go. We're working towards a better future. <laughs> I'm gonna have room, aren't I? Yep. I'm gonna put this down the bottom. Okay, that's fine. Look at that. We're working. We're working together. I think I have a plan. Oh, that's cool. That fits perfectly. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Okay, I think we're doing right. Because then now I'll move this down. We can put some of the, hopefully maybe, Leah on the same shelf. I think that's pretty cool if you ask me. What's first? Six of Crows, right? Yeah, I'm like hot. <laughs> the fact that there's a sign still get me so hyped up, guys. You have no idea. I guess that can go. I don't even know what I'm doing. They're pretty thick on we got a goal. Thank you. <laughs> Netflix, stop putting your stickers on books, please. That's a pretty shelf. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty sick. Yes. What am I doing? Instead of changing the angles and everything so much, I need to fix my headband. My hair is a mess. I'm going to grab my phone and show you guys what the shelves look like when I'm finished with them and just add it in. So the quality will change, but I, it's better than changing the angle all the time, I think, personally. Okay, so really quickly, I'll show you the shelves I've done. So obviously we have Harry Potter at the top. Then we have the Sarah J Mass shelf. So we have a free shelf. And then moving down, we have the Leo Bardugo section up until here. Then we start the Cassandra Clear that continue there. And then finishes down the bottom. And then really quickly, we have the classics and then the celebrity ones. And that is everything we've done so far. I'm actually pretty pumped with this shelf. Hello. That's a good angle. Ew. <laughs> I think I'm going to tackle this shelf, I think. So I'm going to do Game of Thrones. And I think I'm going to do... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Do I do Twilight or do I do Richard? I think I might do Richard. Okay, this is what got me back into reading. I bought all 12 of these and I just was on a book buying streak. This is my books. I need to figure out what order they go in. So I'm going to Google them because they messed up. Oh, no. I'm going to put these up like so. That can go there. We'll move Game of Thrones forward so it's all even. But I'm going to put them in order and make them nice and even. Can anything fit there? I don't know, book's small enough for that. Ooh, actually, hang on. I don't know. It doesn't really go with it, but it looks nice. <laughs> I think I might put Loki on that side, though. Just push this down. I think that might be the way to go. Another shelf done. I have one more shelf for this shelf unit. I think this shelf, hello, will have my little unseries, unseries? A series of fortunate events. Oh, God, that was loud. That's the end. You couldn't tell because it says the end on it. <laughs> so let's go in there. I'm thinking my Disney or Twilight next. I'm thinking my Disney ones though because they make more sense. I don't think there's an order for these if I'm being completely honest. I think I might move these down though. So we have Rapunzel, Cinderella, Mulan. Oh, is this Hercules? E, Hercules. <laughs> Frozen, Snow White, Aladdin, Ariel, Little Mermaid, Peter Pan, Beauty and the Beast, also Sleeping Beauty. That's my little collection. Okay, what I'm going to do is actually turn you over to the other side. So this is the one that has the Xbox, the one below it has the classics. So this is the only shelf left on this bench. Why is there a bench? Um, bookshelf that needs books. So I have Twilight, Divergent, Hung Games, all of that like classic sets, I guess. 
We've got those two. We've got Eclipse. We've got Breaking Door. Is this the order? Please tell me this is the order. And then we have the Midnight Sun one. And then I think we'll grab the Hung Games. I love these covers. So we got Hung Games, Catching Fire, Mocking Jay, and The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Have I read them? No. Have I watched the movies? No. We have Divergent and The Mage Runner. They kind of fit in. I know they're backwards, but I'm just trying to see. I could fit more across there, but I think I might look weird. I need to sneeze so bad. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, now we're going to start on this last shelf, and I'll show you guys an update on what the floor looks like as well. It's not bad, but considering these are two big piles of YA books, I don't know how to feel. I also have Had My Heart Stopper and my Colleen Hoover. Co I keep saying Colleen. It's not Colleen. <laughs> I have my Colleen Hoover ones up there as well. So I know for a fact that I want to put the Song of Achilles 10th Anniversary Edition faces forward. Was that English? I don't know if that was English or not, but I might put it on this one. So what I've done is I've put, I'll show you. <laughs> if they don't belong in a set, I've put them in different piles. So this is just an ordinary uh, YA book. Well, this isn't really YA, but the point but they're different size so i've put the big two piles are these size books and then the other pile you saw is this size i have to figure out what shelf these fit without messing up the other shelves i'm gonna get this done today and i honestly thought i wasn't gonna get it done but i think because i'm just so excited for it that i'm like need yeah, it done you know anyway and then i can decorate it oh i'm so excited i'm gonna start with heart Stopper because again it's literally in my heart at the moment <laughs> love it i'm so excited for the show that comes out on april 22nd i believe you best believe i'm gonna binge that shit like no tomorrow heart Stopper and young royals the only two things keeping me alive right now so thank you so then i put this on the top shelf just because they're so colorful i love the look of them i'm gonna put heart stopper up i think and i'm gonna put the other ones from alice oseman like this because the writing is this way most books have writing this way anyway let's go we're on a mission do i put heart stopper at that end i think so bloody the vans and the converse absolutely not absolutely not so number four three number two and number one and then we'll whack Osman's other ones next to it. Level it up. They are an icon, by the way. I love them so much. Oh my god, looking. Oh, I just looked at it as afar. Wow, all my books are pretty dark. Except for that. <laughs> so, let me do this shelf. You can't see, but I will make you see. I'm going to put these up there. So Jay writes this and also these ones. They have to stick together. I did just realize that, so that's also nice to know. And then we also have Land of Stories. I think I'm going to put that on this end and then work in the middle. I have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and then I also have The Cruel Prince. Oh, they're both hollies too. That's fitting. Ah, please fit. <gasps> Yay! Thank you. I know you can't really see it in the camera, but this is what this shelf looks like now. Very exciting. So we have this one here, this one, this one, this one, and some of the top ones. And then we have all of this. So it could be done. I think I'm going to flatten these out so I can see the titles and work around that. It's four o'clock. I have been doing this for five hours and you're on an angle. Sorry. My shelves are done. It's sweating. I, it's sweating. I, my battery's going to die. What am I going to do now? I am going to show you an overview really, really quickly. But I think, no, I'll do the overview and then I'll decorate it with pop vinyls and then I'll take photos and stuff. And then I will show you guys a full overview. But this is a little sneak poke. I'm very excited. I'm going to change my battery once again. Twice in one video. It's great. Hi. Update. After what feels like an eternity, we are finally done. This took me six hours <laughs> but my shelves are done i've decorated them i obviously have to buy more leaves so ignore that and i'm probably gonna put lights on a little bit later but there will be more greenery on the shelves because again my theme is pink and green so i want some green it's done and um is there room for more books probably not 
but am I going to buy more? Uh, you bet your ass I am. But let's do an overview really, really quickly. This is a quick little overview of the entire thing. I'll just go really quickly over it. Not really in depth. You guys can kind of tell where everything is, I guess. This is the first shelf. This is my Harry Potter section, I guess. I ended up putting my wand here, which I think is so cute and so subtle. But if you notice it, it's sickening, you know. Next one down looks like this. We've got some Game of Thrones, some Richard Castle. I did change this up. This is my Sarah J Mass section I did change it sorry about that moving down we have a series of unfortunate events and my Disney twisted tales and then starting from here and here I guess is Cassandra Clare and then obviously in this little corner is Lee Bardugo moving across we have my little celebrity edition I guess above that is classics then we got some Twilight some Hunger Games some James Dasher you know you know we got the game section <laughs> and DVDs and then my TV is right in the middle I think the first three shelves on here are my favorite shelf not gonna lie this is the first one obviously it's so much color compared to that side I love it over here we got my little Alice Oseman section and then we have my ferret book we have red white and royal blue we got my little Colleen Hoover I keep saying Colleen it's not Colleen is it it's Colleen I'm actually reading this book now so I'll take this out but I wanted to keep it there so I knew like how much room I had and I have a couple over there um this is my next read I am so excited and then moving down we have this one here we have some little seashell candles we have face fronting cemetery boys we've got a little 11 over here <laughs> moving down we have this again the lighting is pretty bad so you can't really see but I have faced forward song of Achilles like I told you guys I would and then moving down once again these got a little bit packed because this one is mainly the single books this isn't the best looking shelf or whatever and then moving down we have this one and and last but not least we have this one down here that's it this is the dream you're on an angle but this is the dream <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy this video i know it's kind of not different for me because i've done a lot of book related videos in the past but this is the most different video in the moving chronicles because everything else was off packing or unpacking well this was unpacking but it was like a specific genre of just books not like the whole house or whatever but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up for me i'm so excited to start reading up again because the book i was reading was packed away the entire time i was here if you're new here subscribe make a video every single week for you guys every thursday at 12 p.m all my social media links will be linked down below as always as well as read the rest of the moving chronicles playlist i guess will be linked down below if you guys are interested in anything on these shelves or anything like that just let me know in the comments down below because i read every single comment so don't you worry and i'll let you know where everything is from if i can remember remember to spread love and stay positive and i'll see you guys in my next one bye everyone